you guys so we about to jump into this makeup look i know you're here for it this is a cardi b inspired makeup look at yeah so let's just let's jump right into it Welcome back to my channel. I am Shade Styles. If this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure your post notification bell is on so you'll be notified when your girl uploads a video. I made you guys, so I'm gonna try to move as quickly as possible because my battery is dying and I really don't have time to charge it and get out of here. Alright, so I'm back. I got a little bit of juice on my camera and I just finished watching Cardi's clout video and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do that makeup look so I have a pretty good idea of what Erica did to her makeup or how she achieved that look. So it kind of looks like she has like an orange or a warm brown in the crease with some like a, a iridescent color in the front and then like a yellow. I think that's what she did. So I'm gonna try to recreate that look for you guys right now. So I'm gonna do one eyebrow on camera to show you how I do it. Then I'll do the other one off camera just to kind of save some time. So I took the wand out of the packaging. I'm just going to get some of that product on my angle brush and then i'm going to start my brow so let's go i usually just start by and i like mine to kind of come on an angle so i'll just turn my hand slightly and i'll just drag it back so i like to create that general line on the bottom first and usually when i get to the middle i will start to kind of curve up and then down from the top and connect it at the bottom. I know that's kind of crazy, but that's just what I like to do. And just like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit more product and I'm going to start from the top. And I'm going to start like right at the middle. I'm going to the back and then move my way to the front. And when I move to the front, I just move from the bottom and drag it up. Just like that. And then I just try to make sure like, not from the very tip at the top, but from like about, I guess like a half an inch away from the front. That's where I'll start my line. And just make sure it's thick enough. I like a pretty thick eyebrow and it actually looks really good. I'm liking it. So I like a pretty thick eyebrow. I just feel like it looks more youthful. Look at this skinny little pitiful brow like no no that's not cute yeah okay okay maybelline i'm loving it i'm loving it so let's just see how it wears if it's really waterproof i'm thinking of going to the gym today so i'll let you know but i like it all right so i'm going to start by doing my foundation and i'm going to clean up my brows at the same time today i'm going to be using my maybelline superstay foundation you guys know i really like this so um i've been liking to clean up my brows with my foundation as of recently and it looks really good it looks more natural and i like it so what i do is i squeeze it just a little bit to get a little drop out and then I just clean up my brows like you will with concealer. I mean, if you like the brighter look, then go ahead. I've done it plenty of times. But just as of recently, I've been liking just to clean it up with my foundation. All right, you guys. So here I'm just showing you the brush that I'm using. So now I'm going to clean up under my brows. And you want to just take your time and make sure you don't use too much product. So now we're going to move on to the lids and I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone. So moving along to my Perception palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Culture, which is only right. I mean, this is a Cardi B inspired look. So yeah, I'm using the shade Culture as our first transition shade. And it's kind of like a flesh tone color, but it does have a hint of a peachy, orangey undertone. Then I'm going in with Thick, which is an actual true to color orange. And I'm just going to deepen up that crease. I'm going right under Culture and just packing the shade and building it up to the intensity that I like. on 
to my ColourPop Concealer. This is in the shade Light 18. And I'm going to use that to cut the crease, baby. And here's a little trick for when you're cutting the crease and you don't know how far to go up. Just look up and your eye will actually show you where you need to stop. Alright, so now I'm just setting that with some translucent powder. And then for the first shade, that iridescent shade that's going to go in our inner eye, our inner corner, it's unbothered. Yes, because we are not bothered by these holes. We don't let these holes bother us. So yes, we are going to pack on unbothered. And I know the color is a little bit off, but I'm going to fix that. Just hold on. <laughs> so now I'm going into my Morphe palette and I'm picking up this yellow. I can't remember the name. It's a really old shade um, that I have from Morphe. But yeah, just any yellow will work. I know it's my Ray Ray just came out with a new palette and she has a dope yellow. So pick that up and if you have it, that'll be great to use. Okay, come through color. So now I'm going to take thick, remember that orange W's, and I'm just going to carve out the crease again. I felt like I was losing a bit of my orange, and I really wanted that to pop. So yeah, just go back in with an angle brush or a flat brush and use the tip, and just clean up that orange. So foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, and I'm applying that with a damp beauty blender, and I really love the coverage that I get out of this foundation. So next I'm going in with concealer and this is my Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline and I love this. I do apply it a little bit heavy because it does tend to sheer out a little bit but that's okay because I still love it. And now I'm just going to let it sit under my eyes and blend out all of the rest of the places on my face because that will allow my beauty blender to soak up some of the concealer and then I'll blend out the eyes. So now to set, I'm using my RCMA powder, you guys already know. Mix with my Benai Banana Powder, that's my holy grail. My little trick that I love to do, and I have noticed that Evercolor Perla also uses um, RCMA translucent powder, so that was pretty dope because I've been using this for years, so yeah. And now we're moving along to contour, and I'm contouring with my black opal foundation stick, and this is in the shade Nutmeg. So now I'm going to blend out that nose contour with a bullet brush or you can use a pencil brush and I just blend it up into my eyebrows and then I take an angle brush and I'm going to blend out the rest of my contour in circular motions and I'm just going to make sure I'm buffing it into my hairline so there's no light or dark marks it just looks really seamless and blended together. So now I'm going to take my NW43 powder and I'm just going to set that cream contour so it doesn't move throughout the day. And to complete the eye, we're going back in with thick, which is that orange shade, and we're just going to put that on our lower lash line. Okay, so for blush, I'm going in with this peachy pink shade, and this is a BH Cosmetics blush palette. And then we're going to go in with my MAC Hyper Real Glow for our highlight. I'm going to be using Quickie by Makeup Shayla and then I'm just going to set that with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and yeah you guys that's the look so I really enjoyed doing this I hope you guys like it I think it came out super super cute I'm rocking a custom cashmere London unit from my hairline so anyone who's interested in purchasing can just click the link that's down in the description to my website. Alright you guys so that's the final look. 
super cute, super spring, summertime friendly. Um, I know it's kind of hard to tell with my hairstyle versus hers, but I think it's a very wearable makeup look. And I'm feeling really cute. I like this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.